Well, it is another heat wave type of day. <clears throat> Hope you are staying cool, Julia. Hope you're doing well and that prep for school is going well. Can't believe it's that time already. Schools have started here and uh, saw the kiddos walking downtown this afternoon. Can't believe summer's over already. Hey Rev, good to see you again. Bill surprised us at midday worship today. I said, Bill Guy? Somebody has to keep Rick under control, I guess. This is one of those interesting commemoration feast type days because we're set to honor uh, Salome, Mary, basically the women that, that went to the tomb and found it empty, but there's no write-up or anything on them. It's just we're celebrating these women. So, so today we celebrate Joanna, Mary, and Salome, the women that went to the tomb and found it empty on Resurrection Easter Sunday. but. Uh, don't have anything particular to read about them. So, all right then, probably wasn't much to say. Well, let's go ahead and begin. We are on page 117, Evening Prayer, right to. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Hey, Judith. And page 118, the Fos Hilaron, please join me. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm today is Psalm 50, which begins on page 654 of our prayer book. When you get there, please join me. Page 654, Psalm 50. The Lord, the God of gods, has spoken. He has called the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, perfect in its beauty, God reveals himself in glory. Our God will come and will not keep silence. Before him there is a consuming flame, and round about him a raging storm. He calls the heavens and the earth from above, to witness the judgment of his people. Gather before me my loyal followers, those who have made a covenant with me and sealed it with sacrifice. Let the heavens declare the rightness of his cause, for God himself is judge. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will bear witness against you, for I am God, your God. I do not accuse you because of your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I will take no bull calf from your stalls, nor he goats out of your pens. For all the beasts of the forest are mine, the herds and their thousands upon the hills. I know every bird in the sky, and the creatures of the field are in my sight. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the whole world is mine and all that is in it. Do you think I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and make good your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you shall honor me. But to the wicked, God says, Why do you recite my statutes and take my covenant upon your lips, since you refuse discipline and toss my words behind your back? When you see a thief, you make him your friend, and you cast in your lot with adulterers. You have loosed your lips for evil and harnessed your tongue to a lie. You are always speaking evil of your brother and slandering your own mother's son. 
These things you have done, and I kept still, and you thought that I am like you. I have made my accusation. I have put my case in order before your eyes. Consider this well, you who forget God, lest I rend you, and there be none to deliver you. Whoever offers me the sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me, but to those who keep in my way will I show the salvation of God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All right. Like I said, today we honor the women who were the first ones to arrive at the empty tomb on Easter Sunday. So I'll read a bit of Mark chapter 16. Yes. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome bought spices so they could embalm him. Very early on Sunday morning, as the sun rose, they went to the tomb. They worried out loud to each other, who will roll back the stone from the tomb for us? Then they looked up and saw that it had been rolled back. It was a huge stone, and they walked right in. They saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed all in white. They were completely taken aback, astonished. He said, don't be afraid. I know you're looking for Jesus the Nazarene, the one they nailed on the cross. He's been raised up. He's no longer here. You can see for yourselves that the place is empty now. On your way, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going on ahead of you to Galilee. You'll see him there, exactly as he said. They got out as fast as they could, beside themselves, their heads swimming, and stunned, they said nothing to anyone. Here ends the reading. Page 94 is our canticle for the evening. Page 94, canticle 20, glory to God. When you get there, please read with me. Canticle 20. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And then we go ahead to page 120 for the Apostles' Creed. Please join me there. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Dear friends, the Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And we'll pray suffrages A this evening. Show us your mercy, O Lord and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. 
Let your continual mercy, O Lord, cleanse and defend your church, and, because it cannot continue in safety without your help, protect and govern it always by your goodness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I'll read a prayer this evening that one of you wrote. Heavenly Father, you are just, you are merciful, you are omniscient, and you are sovereign. We ask, we who are made in your image and know what you want, to give us the courage to do what you require of us. Help us to recognize that social systems are not always equitable, and to do the things that will end oppression, take care of the poor, and welcome foreigners, that we will want the best for others, and place their interest above our comfort and convenience. Grant this so that we may be more like our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And then, if you will, turn with me to page 829. There's a lovely prayer there. Page 829, and we will pray prayer 48 together. Page 829, prayer 48. Please pray with me. Almighty God, whose son had nowhere to lay his head, grant that those who live alone may not be lonely in their solitude, but that following in his steps they may find fulfillment in loving you and their neighbors. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heaven adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This time I invite your thanksgivings and intercessions silently, aloud, or typed in the chat box. Our final Thanksgiving is on page 837 of your prayer book, page 837. <clears throat> Please pray with me. Let us give thanks to God our Father for all his gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for the beauty and wonder of your creation in earth and sky and sea. We thank you, Lord. For all that is gracious in the lives of men and women, revealing the image of Christ, we thank you, Lord. For our daily food and drink, our homes and families, and our friends, we thank you, Lord. For minds to think and hearts to love and hands to serve, we thank you, Lord. For health and strength to work and leisure to rest and play, we thank you, Lord. For the brave and courageous who are patient in suffering and faithful in adversity, we thank you, Lord. For all valiant seekers after truth, liberty, and justice, we thank you, Lord. For the communion of saints in all times and places, we thank you, Lord. Above all, we give you thanks for the great mercies and promises given to us in Christ Jesus, our Lord. To him be praise and glory with you, O Father, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Dear friends, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Well, friends, I hope that you have a lovely evening here in an hour or so. Julie is going to take care of you with Compline, and then she will be back here tomorrow evening at 6.30 for evening prayer. Blessings, friends. <laughs>